and get ready to go live. I'm ready to hit the go live anyway. I will give us a countdown before I do that. Okay, so I'm going to hit the go live in three, two, one. I've pushed the button. And I've had a nod from Jen. So that means we are now streaming live. So a very good afternoon and a good evening. And it could even be a good morning because you could be anywhere in the world watching us uh, live on Facebook. Uh, so welcome everyone to the final day the fifth day of the four day saw challenge, which was the bonus day, which is the catch up day. Um, chance for us to just refresh, remind and go back over things that we've covered so far and a, a great opportunity for us to introduce Sanjay to you as well um, as a way of um, wrapping everything up and bringing it all to a conclusion. Um, I'll start with some quick introductions. I'm Dave, Dave Holloway. Um, as I think I've already mentioned, I think our four year anniversary is coming up at Sanjay. Um, it was certainly September or October 2016 when I first saw you. Um, I was at a property investor network uh, meeting. It was a, a, um, a mastermind meeting and you presented. And at that time, I was sat in the audience fairly disillusioned with things looking for um, I was running my own business, um, still do. Uh, I was just looking for something and I didn't know what it was. And you came along um, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. Um, so yes, that was my way of um, escaping my disillusionment and my um, unsatisfaction with where I was at the time. And uh, it's brought me here, which has just been fantastic. So um, that's me, um, uh, Diane, Jenny, if you'd like to introduce yourselves as well, please. Sure. Hello, I'm Di Pugh. I met Sanjay just over eight years ago um, when he actually came into the hospital where, we, where I was working at the time um, and introduced me to a whole, um, a whole lot of new techniques and um, it's been quite a journey ever since, actually. Um, but learned so much and completely changed um, how I respond to things and how I approach life and experience life from a completely different place. So. Uh, really grateful from, for, for, for the time that we met um, and the journey that we've been on together since. Um, it's been really, really amazing. I use it both in my personal life, but, but mostly in my work life, which has really um, been fantastic as an HR specialist, where um, my job is to work with people all of the time. Um, so some of these techniques um, have really helped with, with some of the work that I do as well. Um, so that's been really interesting to uh, to play with that and share that learning with with other people along the way. So thank you. And good evening, everyone. Jenny Henderson. I have been working with Sanjay for just over eight years, uh, supporting him in the business and uh, also uh, using his techniques and teachings to help me. Um, I sometimes regret meeting Sanjay. Uh, because in some ways I've had to go through things that uh, I would well, probably have normally avoided and just bumbled through life. Um, in other ways, I am so grateful for meeting Sanjay because I would not be the person I am today or be doing the things that I am doing if it wasn't be for some of the, uh, the techniques that he's taught me because I wouldn't have been able to step out um, of myself and into my own power um, and, uh, and use these techniques to help me to grow and develop uh, as a person. Um, and into my own business. So thank you. Thanks, Jenny. Um, Sanjay, I, I, I'm in two minds. I, I allow you to introduce yourself now. I think, yeah, we'll do that. And then, then maybe we can just have a recap on, on the week and then open it up for you to um, share some of your wisdom with us. So please, please introduce yourself. I'm laughing because um, uh, I thought you were on a roll because uh, you were at a meeting and I turned up to speak. Diane was at a meeting and I turned up to speak. And Jenny was uh, uh, speaking and I turned up. <laughs> <laughs> there we, we've been presenting all week and now you've turned up again. <laughs> uh, so th thank you very much. I have no idea what you lots have been getting up to. Uh, uh, really, I saw clips of it, but 
uh, I had to practice so big time and uh, stop, observe, accept, and release on wanting you to get it right and to do justice to what I've been doing for 20 years. Uh, <laughs> so it's been an interesting uh, four or five days uh, in that. So um, those of you that uh, don't know me, I know there are some people here uh, that I worked with uh, for a short time or for a longer time. But if you don't know me, my name, uh, as you've been told, is Sanjay Cha. And you know, how on earth did I get uh, to do all of this? Well, uh, about 25 years ago, uh, I was at what I would call a really shitty time in my life, if I'm allowed to use that word. Uh, but life wasn't very good. Nothing was working out for me. Uh, my finances were a mess. My relationships were a mess. Uh, my health wasn't that great either. And uh, everything I did seemed to go wrong in, in some shape or form. And so I was really looking for a way out of that uh, uh, place. And uh, through a series of uh, circumstances, I find myself uh, in front of uh, a bunch of uh, uh, great teachers, as I call them, over a few years. And uh, uh, I gained knowledge and wisdom and experience uh, in things that I had no idea would affect the quality of my life. And uh, that's how I got involved with this. And little did I know that uh, 20 years later, uh, uh, to be not only just uh, using these things, but also teaching and training other people to do that and seeing some uh, amazing turnarounds in people's lives, just the way that my life was uh, turned around. And uh, uh, that gives me a huge amount of joy to see other people using what is fundamentally just a simple tool and uh, uh, unless we complicate it uh, as we are want to do because we're humans and we like things to be complicated uh, it is actually a very easy way of uh, changing your life circumstances around and uh, uh, you know we really need these tools right now with everything that's happening in the world with covid with brexit and with whatever else may be going on for you and for us uh, uh, really everybody uh, could benefit by using some techniques which are so simple that that's their problem because people don't take them seriously. Uh, I came from a very educational background where I did a whole load of studying and my belief was that unless you spend a long time studying and uh, if I may say suffering then uh, you hadn't really uh, got to know anything and uh, here I came across something that could be taught within a very short time which could actually turn the whole of my life around and uh, that's the thing that I want to get across uh, really to anybody who's looking at this for the first time how simple that is uh, so that's my introduction it's uh, a very potted one and there's a lot more uh, to it but for now Dave uh, I'll pass back uh, to you if you want to uh, say what you want to lovely Thanks. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think throughout the week I've tried to highlight the fact that I think I described it as eloquently simple. Um, and that's the beauty of it, the simplicity. And then that's what underlies the, the power of it when people sort of maybe overlook that or don't initially see that because it's simple. How can it be powerful? Well, that's why it's powerful, because it's simple and it's, it's, it's easy to do. And I think I said last night, maybe up until that release, and then that's when people can get a little bit caught up again in making it difficult. So it's all about simplicity, all about simplicity. Um, yeah, I, I was going to recap really, because I say we're, we're on the on sort of day five, which was was always to be a recap and a reminder of the four days and of saw and some of the things that we've we've spoken about and and, and been talking about. Um, got just a few slides to share to use as a, as a visual reminder for people um back to monday thoughts emotions actions results what are we talking about there it's the fact that we have 60 to eighty thousand thoughts a day um, and you can't keep track of them you, you might keep track of or even be aware of maybe 10 percent um, I know Sanjay, you use an analogy of an iceberg where you know ninety percent of the iceberg is below the waterline. You can't see it. You'll be aware of a fraction of your thoughts, and if you're trying to make sense of that and rely on those positive aspects, the positive thoughts, you've got an awful lot to be working with. 
emotions you might only have a handful possibly only two or three different feelings or emotions during a day therefore it's a lot easier to identify them and work with them and i think that really is for me the thing with saw that's what saw is it, it, it's being able to identify those those emotions are easier to identify because there's less of them therefore they're easier to work with and when you're working at the higher emotional levels the actions become clearer more obvious easier to see um, and taking actions from those higher emotional levels lead to either better results or maybe um, the same results for less effort and again we're talking about energy energy expenditure and effort we spoke about the levels of emotion and how when when you get to that acceptance part of the sore process when you're accepting your you're moving into those higher level emotions. You're moving, as we'd say, above the line into acceptance. And the actions that you then take from that place, that was the, the sort of the moving into the eye of the storm, into the calm place, the place where there's more clarity, where things become easier to see, actions become easier to take. And again, it's the results from those actions that are um, either, either better results for the same amount of effort or... Um, it's, there's less effort, less effort to get the same results that you've been getting or been looking for and that also applies with the goal setting and we i think we'd mentioned goal setting at some point that again for me it's it's you could you could go down the route of, of setting those those big goals and, and being really hooked up onto those goals and there are lots of goal orientated and goal setting um things in place where they talk about having that big reason why and if you see from the chart of emotions, the big reason why is that big desire, that big wish, that big want to have the things, which actually is a lower level emotion. So some of the work we do, um, which isn't isn't today, is not about sore, but there is work that we do around that goal setting. Sanjo, I know is a big part of what you do um, and getting into the emotional state, the emotional level where those decisions, the clarity is there, the decisions become easier, the results become better. It's about taking, making powerful decisions as opposed to forceful. Again, all coming back to getting into those um, higher energies, getting above the line. Um, and this is, this is, these just the figures are based on the work from David Hawkins and the amount of energy available. Again, this is about getting into those higher levels, higher energetic states. There's more energy available. Um, you can uh, you can push the wall with more force if you choose to, but you still get the same result. Um, so this was sore. This is this is what it's all about. It's it's stop, it's observe, it's accept, not resist, um, and finally release. So they are the four steps. That's the process. Um, there is a little bit of work that can be done within that, and and the release itself, the letting go. Uh, is a is a process um, as I said you know, we really haven't got time to go into that uh, on the half hours we've got for these Facebook lives but that's everything in a, in a nutshell that's a reminder of everything that we've been speaking about this week um, and really Sanjay I, I was just would love to get your um, your your views on these I mean you you put this together you developed this from all the different teachings and trainings and things that, that you did but yet you saw the strands and, and I'm, I think I'm right in saying you didn't just get it from one place it was a combination of different things from different people I think you know you've 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 crewed for people like Tony Robbins in the past so you've got a wealth of experience but somehow this all came together and you've ended up with this and again I'll say it, an elegantly simple deceptively simple powerful technique to get people into a really good place yeah, thank you. I, I guess it came from my desperation to find happiness, uh, because uh, as I said, I, uh, my history, if I just very, very briefly, is uh, I left school with uh, pretty decent grades, and I went to university, and I started off, started off on a dental degree, and uh, two years into that, I had to drop out of that because I failed one of the exams, and. Uh, uh, sat around for a year trying to figure out what to do and I still didn't know so I did an economics degree because I didn't want to go down the medical line again and uh, 
uh, at the end of that economics degree, I did uh, I went into chartered accountancy because I still didn't really know what I enjoyed doing. I tried all sorts of things, but I, to be honest, I wasn't really enjoying them. I was earning a bit of money, but it was hard work. And uh, uh, two years into that, I got made redundant. And uh, uh, again, uh, sat around in the dole for about six months and out of sheer boredom, uh, I got a, a job in insurance sales and discovered very quickly that I was pretty rubbish at selling. And, uh, uh, the, you know, that wasn't going very well. But what I did discover uh, whilst I was there uh, was a book by Tony Robbins. And I then ended up going to the uh, uh, Tony Robbins seminar when he first came to the UK. And that was really the first step uh, into changing my life around. Uh, but uh, the really big step came when a few years later, uh, I went to America to actually see the guy that taught Tony Robbins how to firewalk, uh, which is what Tony Robbins is really well known for. So uh, here was a guy, Tony Burkham, who lived in America, who taught Tony Robbins how to firewalk. Now, I ended up uh, in his lounge, in his house, uh, sat on the floor whilst he taught me and two other people. And that completely and utterly changed the course of my life. Five days uh, spent with him uh, completely rewired me. And I came back and I started to do things in a very different way. And it was because I came across so many great teachers, because the, these are just two people that I mentioned, but there were several others, and all within a very short time that I started to see strands between all of them, which were fundamentally saying the same thing. And I'd spent thousands of pounds doing all of this. You know, it's not cheap to go to America and do these courses where most of the great teachers were uh, uh, when I first started with this. And uh, uh, so I took all of that training and somehow or other it kind of uh, went into this melting pot in my mind and out of it came sore one day. And uh, uh, it's really combining the best of the best uh, of what it is. And what I really want to share with people is the thing about emotions is it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're clever, whether you're uh, not so clever, everybody shares exactly the same emotions. Anger is anger is anger. It doesn't matter who you are. There are different levels of anger and we all experience, you know, it could be mild irritation to uh, being really annoyed, to being frustrated, to actually blowing up in rage, uh, but it's still the same emotion regardless of the person feeling that emotion as with every other emotion. So it's a common thing that all of us share and then brings us all to the same playing field. And I discovered that I'd come across people who spent years trying to sort out uh, the history that, that I had to deal with, you know, people who were abused, people who had a horrendous accidents, people who, uh, for whatever reason in their past, were still carrying around a lot of stuff. And uh, took them years to get over it. And then I met a bunch of people, they were getting over it really quickly because they were working at the emotional level. And if I can just demonstrate, uh, let, let me just show you uh, people, uh, is if you take this box of tissues, in it are a whole bunch of t tissues, layers of them. And if this tissue represents just one emotion, it's like us, we carry around not just one box of tissues, but hundreds of them that will, we've accumulated through a lifetime. And uh, uh, what does SOAR teach? It teaches us how to start to let go of all this accumulated energy. But let me come back to this in a moment, because what I really want to demonstrate is how energy flows. So here is a bottle of water, just a plain old bottle of water. And we are like this bottle. We come in different shapes, different sizes, and different colors, but inside us is exactly the same energy. Now, here's one thing about energy. Energy is absolutely no good if it's not flowing. You take electricity. If there is resistance in the wire, it doesn't flow and it, it won't power the things that it's meant to. You take a car. If the fuel pipe is blocked and the fuel isn't flowing, the car's not going to go anywhere. And if it's an electric, electric car, the same as uh, electricity. Energy has to flow. If energy is trapped in a container, for example, our bodies, it starts to destroy the container from the inside. And it is well uh, kind of uh, documented that uh, in the medical field, they believe that the cause of most illnesses are emotions which are in the body, that the trapped emotions lead to disease. 
So what, what happens is life comes along, take yourself back to March in this year, and there was the lockdown that happened in the UK. And so life comes and it shakes us up. And that energy, and you can see the bubbles now maybe, that energy yeah. has nowhere to go because it's bottled up. So what is emotional intelligence? It's very simple. This is emotional intelligence. Just listen to this. Did you hear that? That pss sound is the energy beginning to come out. Now, if I shake this enough, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get wet, and took the, you know, that lid might blow up. That's what happened. That's what rage is. That, you know, that's what road rage is, or any type of rage, is when the lid blows up because the energy is desperately trying to move, and we're not letting it move. That, that's so, the expressing of the emotion, isn't it? Yeah, that's the expressing. Yeah. So emotional intelligence is taking the lid off and then uh, allowing the energy to flow. Can you say flowing? Now, eventually this bottle will go flat because there's no input of energy into it. But in humans, we have input of energy. We take energy in through food, through sunlight, through all the nutrients that we take, and then we let energy out in waste products, in emotions, in all sorts of things. So that energy has to flow and life will do this, but if the lid's open, the energy continues to flow. And as it flows, we can actually use it. That's emotional intelligence. That's all it is at its very simple level. You don't need to go and read books to learn that. You don't need to uh, go and study degrees to learn to do that. But what you do need to do is learn how to take that lid off and then how to keep it off because our natural tendency is to keep that lid on. So how does it relate to the tissues? Well, if you use the saw method, this is what you're doing. When you release, you do that. And what happens? Another tissue comes up because there might be another layer of emotion. It might be anger, it might, whatever it is, there is no logic in sequence to how they are stored in the body, but it comes up. And so you do that. And then you do that. And after a while you get, oh, you know, isn't there anything quicker than that? So that's the first step of saw. The next step of saw is actually to take that box and just chuck it away. And another box comes up. And you learn to check that away. And another box comes up. And it's like layers of, or plates in the canteen. You take one plate off and the others all rise to the surface. But after a while, you would reach a point at which you chuck that box away and nothing else comes up. Now, it might take you a little while to do that, but it won't take you years as it would if you go to traditional therapy or something like that. This can happen in a very quick time, but the key thing is you will learn to use that energy to achieve your goals in life. How many of you achieve your goals, but it's a real struggle. It's hard work. It's in a constant activity. I used to do that. The difference now is because I do this at a higher level of emotion, the amount of work needed is not as much because in a car, if you drive the car in higher gears, and I think Dave, you showed a slide sometime with the gears mm. uh, representing the emotions. The higher the gear, the less fuel you waste. So you reach your goal quicker and you reach it with more fuel left over. So you're using less energy and that's what emotional intelligence allows you to do and the sore technique allows you to do. And uh, you know th that's the key thing. How do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to achieve it with struggle and strife or do you want to achieve it with far less ease and achieve more goals more quickly? That's the thing that people are finding out because that's what I discovered. I'm not saying I was any cleverer than anybody else. I think it was you know, just by mis a kind of complete coincidence that I put all of these together and I, I popped something that was really quick at allowing me to achieve my life's goals. And now, thousands of people over the last 20 years have learned exactly the same thing and are living happier lives which are more fulfilled because they are achieving far more of their goals than they used to even in these times of covid we're hearing from people who are using this technique who are finding that they're not suffering as much as everybody else around them who isn't using these techniques and that's the key thing that i want to emphasize saw is a fantastic technique but it's not magic you have to use it for it to work. 
and there, you know, occasionally you do get people who come and learn it and they go, well, it's not working. And then you question them and you realize they don't, you know, they're not actually using it. So if you're looking for a magic potion or magic solution, this isn't it. But if you're willing to use something simple to achieve your goals, this will help you. Back to you can, I ask, can I ask a question then? So you say that people say it doesn't work and you, you, you ask them the question and, they, and you suddenly realize they're not doing it right. Is there one element of SOAR that they're not doing right? And why, why is it that that's the bit that they struggle with? Well, they're the first thing, they're not doing the first thing, which is stop. What I usually find is when I speak to people, their minds are racing and they're racing and they're racing. And until you get out of the head into the body, nothing else can happen. You're working at the mind intelligence level. You're working at the IQ level. And yeah, you can work there. If you want to spend a few years doing this, carry on doing that. If you want to take that work and compact it down to a few months, then you need to work at the body level and the emotions are in the body. From the neck up, uh, it, it's a record and playback device. The delete button to all these emotions is in the body. Mm -hmm. So in order to kind of see what's going on, you have to first come out of your head and into the body. And in the analogy of the storm, and if you're being buffeted by the storms, by the winds, by, you know, by the hurricane, there's no way you're going to be able to see clearly. You have to get into the eye of the storm where you can actually just stop and look around you and say, ah, okay, that's what's happening. And then be able to take a powerful action, not just any action, but a powerful action with high energy, which means you'll get to the result much more quickly. And uh, the most common thing is people just don't stop. They don't take the time to stop. And it's sad because it's so simple. And if all they did was stop, it starts that chain reaction of stop, observe, accept, and then you have a choice to release. When you get good at this, and it doesn't take very long, but you can get good at it, you might not even need to do the release step. The acceptance itself might be enough, but if you do need a backup, then there's the release step. And that's what we teach people. And that's what all of you learned and all of you applied diligently, which is why you're getting far better results in life. Yeah, and I, I think also Jen, to add to that, it, it's, it's partly the paradox of it, trying to complicate it when it's simple, but actually it's practicing it regularly. And I would think a lot of the people, any people that, sh that maybe struggle to see the results because they're not, practicing it well quite quite often and, and you know th th this is just the way society has really programmed us to do it we want to figure it out well figuring it out isn't in the body it's in the mind and if you go around figuring things out you're not using emotional intelligence you're still using iq so there, there are a lot of people who are purporting to teach emotional intelligence, but they're not teaching emotional intelligence. They're just teaching mind intelligence disguised as emotional intelligence because emotions don't follow logic and reason. They don't go in a straight line. They go all over the place. One emotion can lead to a, a particular emotion. Next time it might lead to a completely different emotion. There's no logic and sequence in this. So if you want to figure it out, well, good luck, because I'm still trying to figure it out after 25 years, and I still haven't. But I do know how it works, and I get results, and I don't care how a car works. I just want to get from A to B. And as long as I know how to drive the car, that's what matters. So with emotional intelligence, as long as you know how to use the techniques and use them, you get the results. You don't need to understand them. And the chances are, once you start getting the results, you won't even care whether you understand it or not, because you're getting fantastic goals. Does, does that resonate with you at all, Diane, from when you first yeah, came think. across, when you first <laughs> attended a, a, one of the, because I think you did one, one of the one day emotional power events that Sanjay ran. I didn't actually. I, um, I sort of did it slightly different way around. I have done those um, power ones and, and realised the, the, the absolute benefit of them. Um, but I dived straight into um, a three day retreat um, that Sanjay ran at the time. But uh, what I was really resonating with with what Sanjay said there was I actually 
you know, I trained in the world of academia and, and, and university for the biggest part of my um, my growing up, for want of a better word, into the world that um, that I operate. So we are very much taught to work from the mind, as, as Sam said, and work it all out and logically um, come up with the answers. So I struggled big time at first with this, um, you know, so, so how does this work? And then when you really, um, I, I really was spent quite a bit of time trying to figure it out. Um, but when I allowed myself just to go with it and, and repeatedly um, go with it and, and use the technique, I really saw the results and what were the results. Actually, I was internally a lot um, calmer, a lot more peaceful and Sanjay's laughing at me because he knows how much I struggled in the first place. Um, it was that look. Oh, but who's this idiot at the front of the room telling me I don't need to think my way through this? Exactly. What a load of... <laughs> is he talking? <laughs> um, I, I was privileged to be on your first emotional mastery retreat, Di. We did that one together yeah. and I remember, uh, I remember one of the exercises on the third day, seeing the true you starting to appear when you could see the mind chatter. And, and I know that you say that you felt internally that you were, but physically we could all see the change in the room you know we could see the the change happening in front of us when you were coming out of your mind and going into your body and that was you know again as an observer and you know knowing what was going on that was an amazing thing to watch as well and it's been an amazing thing to see <laughs> thank you <laughs> not much nice to live your life from this place <laughs> Uh, back, back to you, Dave. Well, I was just going to say, very interestingly, boys and girls, <laughs> that brings us up to six o'clock, and that's that's a half an hour of face, Facebook live presentation rattled through, um, breakneck speed. But again, so much there's so much information that that, that, that we could give, but so limited by the time. Um, if I can just say, if you're watching this and do nothing else at all, at least just download the ebook and just have a look at it because it won't cost you a penny uh, and have a look at it. Have, you know, see if any of that resonates with you. Uh, if you are at a place where you want to find out more, then click the link that uh, Jenny, I believe you put onto the uh, Facebook uh, uh, page uh, and uh, you know, just have a look at the programs uh, because uh, the offer that we're doing uh, is not just learning how to remove the tissues, but how to get rid of the box. It won't take you three days. It won't even take you two days. It's just a few seconds over the period of two days, and it's done from the comfort of your home. You don't have to do what these people did, which is come to a venue and come spend three days with me. Uh, you can learn to do this very quickly because of the power of uh, technology that we have now. So there, there are some great things that have come out of COVID, and one of them is, Dave, you can't stop laughing, so I'm going to pass I've... it over to you. <laughs> I've just gone through <laughs> I've just gone through a massive sore process of my own because you've just said exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> That's because I can read your mind, Dave. <laughs> so I'm quite happy to let you carry on. <laughs> That's a side effect of doing this is when you get to the high emotions, you can read what other people are about to say. Oh, that was perfectly, perfectly timed. Um, so yeah, that was really what I was just about to say that, you know, we've, we've, we've run out of time for tonight. Um, we will be putting a link in, in on the Facebook page for the ebook. Please, you know, download that with our compliments and read it and see how it resonates. See what resonates for you. See, see what, what it means for you. Um, and as I think mentioned yesterday, you know, we have got a two day online event coming up on the 3rd and 4th of October six sessions over two days where we start to drill down and explore not just saw not just the tissues from the tissue box but actually how to work on the boxes themselves there is an offer we are um giving um as well as the if you, if you sign up for the two-day event there is also the emotional power video series that video series is available on its own as well um, we can put all the links in in, in on the facebook page for those um, and if you do take the opportunity and do decide to join us in October there is an offer um, we'll give a, a, a recap session with one of the coaching team after the event for you um, again as a, as a thank you um, and that will be included in, in in the online event so all the details will be in the in on the Facebook page they're all there for you um, I'd be delighted if um, 
if you just as Sanjay said if you don't do anything else grab the ebook and then have a read and see, see see what that does for you works for you whatever um whatever the word is resonates um yeah and it would be great if um if, if you took some action and i'm not sure if anyone else has got anything to add jen if there was any comments in the in the feed if we've stunned people to silence that's fine uh, we have had uh a comment from uh, Trisha from Sanjay's explanation when he was going through the water bottles and, and the thing, just saying great explanation. Uh, Nikki said, uh, Nikki's joined us again. Hi, Nikki Smith. Uh, she said she had a situation where she didn't have the time to observe. She was constantly being interrupted and ended up having a whole day of upset instead of five minutes uh, with the emoji face plant. Um, sore is the way to go. So lesson learned, Nikki. When it takes five minutes, it doesn't matter how many times you're constantly getting interrupted. Stopping is only a nanosecond. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, a few comments and hello to everybody that is live with us. Um, and, and just one thing for me, if you've enjoyed, enjoyed these last couple of days with us, if this is something that you um, have liked, um, then, you know, let us know. We'd be up for doing more of them. Uh, we've got plenty of techniques that we can uh, we can be doing, uh, plenty of challenges that we can set you. Um, and if this is something that has been worthwhile, then you know just drop us a message or put a comment in. Um, and if you would like us to look at doing another one in the future, then uh, I'll set it up, and Dave and Diane and Sanjay can can carry out. <laughs> we might invite John back as well. We might invite John. We've missed him tonight. I, I forgot to say he couldn't join us. But I'm fine. waiting to go and do the live events again because I'm missing lighting a fire under people. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, so yeah, I think we've really that that pretty much is it. Um, certainly, if we'd all just if anyone wants to just 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 finish up with a with a round up or a goodbye or a, just a sign off and then. Um... So uh, uh, all I'm going to say is thank you all very much. Yeah, I just been. A, I've had a blast this week. It's been really good fun. Yeah, absolutely, and and thank you, thank you all. Yeah, um, and on that note, I would just again thank everyone for your for your time, your attention, your participation, and um, yeah, let's um, see if we can do this again sometime. Um, and please download the ebook and see what you get from it. Thank you all very much. And good night. Good night. <laughs> Oh, okay.